62 will not do. We can do better. We must do better. Despite the cold outside, the Bronx Health Reach held their second annual hashtag not 62 rally for a healthier Bronx on the steps of City Hall. We are concerned and we are agitated that we continue to be 62 out of 62 counties in New York State. Project director for Bronx Health Reach, Charmaine Ruddock, led the hashtag Not 62 rally, which campaigned to improve health conditions in the Bronx. What we found was that although folks had easier access to health care, many of the health statistics for the county were not changing. Maxine Golub, senior vice president of planning and development for the Institute of Family Health, explained factors affecting poor health statistics within the Bronx. It has to do not so much with access to health care, which is reasonably good in the Bronx, um, but the social determinants of health, housing, economics, uh, the state of our educational system, the opportunities to purchase healthy food and to get good exercise in safe places. And thankful that even in the cold weather you recognize that we are all a part of the solution to the problem. Yeah. For council member of District 16 in the Bronx, Vanessa Gibson, the solution for improving the Bronx's low health ranking lies in refining New York's food policy. The mayor's office of food policy is a unit that has existed for years under an executive order by the previous mayor and we have not seen any real policies coming out of this unit. Throughout the year, Gibson and other city council members have worked on a food policy which improves access to urban farming and agriculture. It's also really directing the mayor's office of food policy to come up with a 10-year policy plan that will be implemented over the next 10 years. Residents from the Bronx also reached out to New York Mayor Bill de Blasio and spoke about their concerns during a meeting held a week before the rally. It ranked up there among some of the best conversations I've had. But as I said, we are not just sitting back and saying, oh, you know, we accomplished it. We're waiting to see what happens. We're going to push him. That's why, though we had that meeting last Monday, we did not cancel this rally. Moving forward, these residents will be working with city council members as well as the mayor to improve health conditions within the Bronx. Reporting for BronxNet, Jericho Tran.